Susan in Let me see your sign. suffering myself. I've seen the elderly, the elderly locked up in their rooms for months at a time, food delivered to their door. They can't feed themselves. They have food drooling down their big bodies and their clothes. They can't give themselves medication. Many of them have died in their rooms because of these laws that we've had that restrict the elderly from having the proper care they deserve. I've seen suffering in people losing jobs because of the mandates. I've seen people that have had to rely on food banks, that have had to rely on diminishing social services because social services don't exist anymore because they're overrun by a system that is falling apart. That's what's happening in Canada. And you represent us and you're standing up for our to be part of this. Every minority group, every culture, every person needs to be here. I prayed a great deal about coming here today. I prayed to God to show me, you know, what, what do I need to do to help the convoy? And then I, I you know, I, I, I felt it was the right thing to do. I said to my boys, we're going to Ottawa. We're going to be with our people, with our Canadians, with our our people, this is where we belong, this is where we all belong, and our leaders and mainstream media has tried to divide us. We are not divided people, we are one people, we are one people. I was, I was, I was attending the rallies, uh, the one in Vaughan Mills in Toronto, before the convoy got here. I ended up driving on the highway along with the convoy, and it was amazing. I saw, I saw people on every overpass in minus, minus 20 degrees. I saw people waving flags. I saw Canada come together, and it was the first time in two years that I felt, this is my Canada. This is where I grew up. This is where together and you're doing an amazing job and the organizers they they rolled out the red carpet for us today they had friday prayer over here they organized everything they welcomed the entire Muslim community of ottawa of the whole region they welcomed everybody to come and do friday prayers here i am tired of the media blaming the convoy as a racist minority and supremacist right we can't we can't we cannot, you know, all of Canada, we cannot let our lives be dictated by mainstream media. We're smarter than that. We know mainstream media's lives. Did, didn't your parents raise you and tell you you can't believe everything on the news? Right? My parents told me you can't believe everything that's on the news. And mainstream media has tried their best to divide us. They have tried their best, but we showed them, you have shown them, the organizers of the convoy, the truckers, everybody out here in negative 20 degrees, you've shown us what Canada is. You've shown us we're stronger together. We're stronger together. God bless you. God bless you.